Hi, folks. We're with our good friend Lloyd Murray, long gone setters this morning. Uh, Lloyd, tell me what we're going to do. Okay, we're at one of my training covers, and we're going to take some dogs out and put them on some wild birds. I only do that about once a week. The other times I take them out of conditioning runs just to keep their wind good, their muscle good. If you put them on birds too much, they get sour. Um, plus, they can get in trouble. They can cut their feet. They can break their tail. So I need to protect them, but I need to get them on birds. So um, we're, we're going to do wild birds. First dog I'm going to take out this morning is Juju. She's a first-year shooting dog, but off age, she's only two. Um, we've got Porky with us. He's going into Derby. We've got Studley with us. He's a shooting dog, and I've got Champion Long Gone Mercedes in that crate in the back because she just came in season, which I'm very happy about because she'll be out of season when field trial season starts here in a few weeks, and I don't want her in season during trial season. Um, I'm waiting for Juju to come in, too, and I wish she'd come in. But um, So we'll take Juju out this morning first. She won the... Uh, White Mountain Open Derby Classic this spring. She's done a lot of winning. She won in West Virginia. She's a nice little bird dog. Her mother is a uh, national amateur grouse champion, Spitfire. And I saw that bitch win the national amateur over at Pete's Flanagan's at Grouse Ridge Kennels. And when he wanted to breed her, he bred her to Studley. And I took this pup, even though she was born off age, but she's a good bird dog. And I like that a lot. She's a real sweet dog. So I like her a lot. I shot a lot of birds for her as a puppy. And we had some decent grouse numbers a couple of years ago. Shot some grouse for her. And she actually ran the U.S. Quail Shooting Dog Fraternity last year down in Hoffman, North Carolina, with Dave Hughes. And so she's, I, I like her a lot. And we'll breed her down the road. But um, she's, she's real young, but I, I like her a lot. Well, We'll see her on some birds here. Let's go, let's go take a look. Okay. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber low pressure shot shells, Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast, Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the nuisance of foot odor. There she is. I almost ran into her. Wow. Better? Whoop. I never saw her. It should be out in front of her. Yeah. Okay. Lloyd's going to move the dog. I don't see it, but I've heard her stop right here. Yeah. She's looking right at me. Right off my right shoulder. I might be able to put this bird right out over the top. It's here. I'm out here, so I'll catch There it goes. There it goes. Right behind me is a woodcock. It was behind Daryl. Yep. That, that was good work for a young dog. That might have been a relocation on that bird right there, so he couldn't get up. But um, I was happy with that. I'm glad 
Daryl put that bird up because I was going to the dog and moving, so I didn't hear. I just heard it at the tail end. We're gonna slither down this way. Hey, babe. Yep. Yeah, I watched it go all up through the trees. Did you have a shot? Would you? Oh yeah. Have? Yeah, she was right up through the trees. It was a good sized bird too. Probably yeah. a big hand. Yeah. Hey, babe. The big ones are usually him. Too, yeah. So. Hey, babe. I've seen hey, I've hey, seen Lloyd pass up shooting hey, him. I don't like him to shoot him. Quick message from our sponsors. We'll be right back with more long gone setter work. Hi folks. Our dogs work very hard for us. They need and deserve a high performance dog food. My choice is Native. Native has been formulated for the canine athlete. It has none of the low value, hard to digest fillers such as soy, corn, wheat. It has only high grade chicken and high grade digestible grains. It comes in four levels of fat and protein. Each level is formulated for the stress and activity level for your dog at that time. Make the switch today. Your dog will be happy and so will you. Hi folks, Merkel is my choice for a shotgun. Whether it be simple backyard clay shooting or competitive clay shooting or upland bird hunting, Merkel is spot on. You throw it up to your shoulder, it's always right there. Merkel is known for its elegant, high-performance shotguns. The new 40E field-grade shotgun is offered at an attainable and an affordable price. The Merkel shotgun is robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Check out Merkel today. You won't be disappointed. It opens up over here. Hey, babe. Did you? Yep. There you go. Daryl, if you notice, these top-notch fur dogs are always in front of you. Hardly ever behind. Facing away from me. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I got him. Beautiful. Yes, it's working. Keep moving in. Seem sure. I'm gonna go way in front of her. Here it goes. I knew that bird was way in front of her. Did you get a glimpse of it at all? No, I didn't see it. It hooked back under those pines. Good girl. Did you? Good. Whoop. Go right over. Oh my god, I could have killed that bird 10 times. Keep filming. I was gonna have Daryl get out there in that opening, and that bird flew right over the opening. Good girl. Here, here, here. See the borings? I don't know if you can get that. See the holes? 
in the mud. That's a woodcock feeding. And to the left, see the old left, see those holes? That's a woodcock feeding. We call it probes or boring. So be careful here, guys. I usually just do this one step. I've probably fallen a dozen times right there. <laughs> yeah. Point. That bird's going to be right in front of her. Yeah. Let me see that. Oh, right at you, huh? That bird should be. Can you step over that. Or I'll step over it, <laughs> and you film. We should get this bird. We might be going for a real live relocation here. You ready? There goes our bird. It was right there. <laughs> no. We were standing right there. You, you she think, was... You think it may have relocated over I to there? We came in this way. The bird was there. It just couldn't go anywhere. That was a big hen. That's... You know, she was looking right there. I was standing two feet from it. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's glycocharge. This is Long Gone Porky. He's by champion Long Gone Boston, who's crackling tail speed and eight time champion Long Gone Agnes. The bottom side goes back to Grand National Champion Tahar Zelvis, and he was by champion Long Gone George. Um, Porky was, well, end of April, I think, early May. He's way going to send him down and run the quail fraternity this year in Hoffman with Dave. So, um, we like the little dog. He's he's young. He's way off age, but he's a good bird dog, and that's what I like about him. Ah, Porky! Ah! Ah, Pork. Right there, and facing. Yeah, I see him. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, yeah. The way he points at me, I'm not going to go, you go. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's turning his head. Let me see if I can move him. All right. No, he's Whoop. pretty solid. Okay, I'm coming through, Daryl. Okay. Is that a woodcock? Yeah. Did you get would you have had a shot? Uh, yeah. I would have thrown one on opening day, but. Yeah, I probably would have. <laughs> Alright. Well, Lloyd, I'm getting some great shots of your backside, so. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> it, it's hard to film wild bird work. Yeah. <laughs> That's why no one else does it. I'm the only one. <laughs> what? What day? Whoop! Whoop! Could be the same bird. Yeah, that was yeah, that, that one. Went off the other yeah. way. Whoop! Careful. Whoop! Careful. I'll see if I can go. scoot over here. Is that where, is that where you want to go? Yeah, I was just gonna flush. Okay, you. well I'll go and straight you might in. Might be able to do something. Yeah, if I, I go get right in. Yeah. Yeah, around. Oh, I got a nice shot if you can do it. Well, it should aim, it should go for the brook. It goes! Right uh, over the top. Yeah, I didn't even see it. He doesn't have to stay there. Because he's not just going into Derby, but I got him pretty well broke, good boy. And I always give him a lot of love. Good boy. 
That's what I want. Come on, bud. All right, great. Now I'm going I'm to come in to Daryl. So, Lloyd, you said he didn't have to stay there. That's because he's a puppy, right? Well, he's going into Derby. Yeah. And in his Derby, he doesn't have to stay there. No. Okay. No. He doesn't have to be broke. He doesn't have to back. But he does all of that. Whoop. Whoop. That bird's going to go to our left. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Take a picture. Yep. Very nice. See if we can get some real training done here. Whoop. Yep. Whoop. He's, He's saying there. it. He's saying it. He's Over saying here. it's right there. Whoop. Oh, beautiful. about this dog. He's got bird sense. Oh, he's a good boy. Good boy. I used to do this with Agnes. She loved it. Give them a lot of love. After they do it right, they'll respond to it. Love and praise. Yeah, let them know. That's what I want you to do. Point the bird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Now that was nice work for a derby. That was excellent work. I tapped him. He, I think he knew it was there. He didn't have it right because he was aimed this way when he went, boom. Quick message from our sponsors. We'll be right back with more long gone setter work. Admit it, you've been busted. Maybe more than once. I've been busted too, but it happens a lot less now that I'm ecstatic. Not the giggly kind, the odor eliminating kind. New 3M Thinsulate Platinum Insulation with ecstatic odor control in wooden stream hunting boots. The first full line of hunting boots to have it. Odor stomping, warm, waterproof, and breathable. I'm ecstatic for good reason. Don't get busted, get wooden stream boots. Hi, Bird Dogs of Field viewers. I'm here today with Dylan, who's almost 10 years old and still hunting hard. So in order to help him, we use Canine Active. It's for working and hunting breeds, and it is my go-to for pain relief and for an anti-inflammatory. You can use it before strenuous activity to help keep them moving and help reduce muscle soreness, or you can use it after for recovery. Try it today, Canine Active. Hi, friends. You know, we're this dog wants to stay in the front. He's a front running dog. I'm not pulling and tugging on him. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Oh, May have got it that time. Whoop.
Let me go up this way. Oh, there it goes. goes. Right over the top. Oop. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Oop. I had a shot at that bird. That boy. That boy. Nice work, Lloyd. I would have thrown one at that bird. <laughs> An opening day shot. Even as he's going through the leaves and the trees, you, you throw a shot up there. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah it'll get, it'll pass through, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna run out of shells here pretty quick. But your dogs are too good. <laughs> you know, I hear all these dire predictions about birds, and I just agree with people. Yeah, there ain't no birds. Well, I mean, I sent them all to Pittsburgh. Go to Pittsburgh. Whoop. He's dead ahead. I guess he is but <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got him, yeah. Go? Yeah, it, it was right over here, but the trees bent over and took off through the clearing there. I see your camera come up. That's, that's why I move, move, buddy. I never heard it, never saw it. Yeah. Don't a lot know of times I'm training with somebody and they'll say, there it goes. I'd never even. That's good, fine. Where was that bird? It, it was right down there. See that tree that's slightly bent over right yeah. there the, by the root? It's and it hard flew straight to point out. Him. My buddy Todd Coulter calls this the mean and green. Bird Dogs Afield, brought to you in part by Wood and Stream, outdoor footwear, outfitting adventures since 1957. Visit woodandstream.com for a dealer near you. Canine Active, providing safe, non-toxic pain relief for your dog. Merkel Shotguns, robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. This is Champion Long Gone Mercedes. She won the Perina Award last year for the top derby in the country. She won the Flanagan Award for the top grouse derby in the woods. She won the North American Woodcock Futurity. She won the National Walking Shooting Dog Futurity in Pennsylvania. She won, she was second in the Grand National Grouse Futurity. And as a first year shooting dog last spring, she won the Region 1 Amateur Walking Shooting Dog Championship. She's by my champion long gone Boston um, and we like her a lot she's a out of a Grouse Ridge female named Grouse Ridge Comet her older sister is a three-time runner-up champion and that's the mother of my pup I've got home named Daquan and that's Fred the Studley now she's been in season a couple days so I'm happy about that because we can get this out of the way before trial season gets too crazy but um, it could affect her. I don't know how she's going to perform in season, but we'll find out. Come on, Joe. Some bitches do real well in season, and it doesn't affect them. Other ones just fall apart.
Loosen up after she heard it go and everything, but she can't move. Good kill. Good kill. I had a shot at that bird. Kill. 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 I think it probably flew across the brook, but I'm just yeah. thinking there could be some summer flight activity yeah. where the mothers are teaching the young woodcock to group up. Yeah. So, I mean, it was two right on this corner. Well, I love to shoot birds, but. I'll gotta also be, say, gotta be done right, though. yeah, and I also say that watching dogs like yours for a morning is truly a delight, Lloyd. And you, I mean, you got to remember that you're in the very, very upper echelon of bird dogs, and you know that. Well, I, you know, I've been so lucky because I had my grandfather as a mentor, I had Dave Hughes as a mentor. Yeah. I mean, you've got a bloodline that's proven itself over and over. Well, all right, Lloyd. Wow, we had a great morning. <laughs> we had three dogs down. How, how many finds did we have? 17. 17. And maybe, what, an hour and a half? Two, two hours? Yeah. Maybe an hour and Nobody a half? Nobody ran more than 35 minutes. Yeah, about an hour and a half. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all about genetics. And when you deal with long gone setters, you're dealing with outstanding genetics. Uh, give me a comment, Lloyd. Well, I'm real happy that we found some birds and nobody got corrected. They all stayed steady to wing and shot, even the derby. But the biggest comment I can make is, go Red Sox. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the World Series. I hope so. <laughs> all right. Lloyd, thanks so much. Thanks, Paul. You bet. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Pete Shoe Dryer, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, Canine Active, and Merkel Shotguns.